Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Aries for the month of March. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti and one card from Drawing Virtues Romance Angels. It's upside down. Okay, so the way I, I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck. Okay, um, these readings are not meant for every Aries out there. If the reading does not resonate with you, that's fine. You can take from it what you want, um, but you guys do not all walk the same path. So if it does resonate with you, that's great. Um, if you'd like to get a pr private reading from me, email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video and I'll get back to you within 24 hours and my turnaround time is five days. That five days is the max. I've never went five days. Um, I'd like to have it ideally 48 hours, but five days is the very max, max. Sometimes things happen and I can't get to a reading right away. Okay. All right. So I will shuffle the cards and I would like you to, I would like to thank you for um, watching, sharing, subscribing, liking, commenting, coming into my channel and watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, a little bit about myself. I am what's called a clairsentient, so I can feel what other people feel. Okay, I feel what other people feel. I am also clairvoyant. I see things, and so I pick up feelings from uh, other people. I pick up feelings. I pick up your feelings. I can pick up the feelings of the person you're inquiring about. If I all of a sudden pick up anger, it's because that person is feeling angry. Or if I pick up love, it's because that person is feeling love. Okay, there's the first card, the lovers. What are the messages for Aries in love for the month of March? What are the messages for Aries and love for the month of March? What are the messages for Aries in love for the month of March? Aries in love for the month of March. What are the messages for Aries in the month of March? What are the messages for Aries for the month of March? What are the messages for Aries for the month of March? So six of pentacles, the moon. What are the messages for Aries for the month of March? Messages for Aries for the month of March. Aries. Temperance. I don't read uh, reverse. Messages for Aries for the month of March. Aries for the month of March. Aries for the month of March. Messages for Aries for the month of March. Messages for Aries for the month of March. Ace of Swords. Messages for Aries for the month of March. 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 Justice. And then we have the King of Swords. Okay. So the first card we have here is the Lovers, Major Arcana. This is about partnership, deep balance, love, two love, two loves of people together. Okay. It's love, attraction. It's about maturity. It's about growth. Okay. Uh, this lovers brings love and decision to commit to a relationship or new venture with an open heart. So, seems to me for the month of March, there's going to be an openness and there's going to be that um, attraction and maturity and there's going to be partnership and there's that deep love. So it looks like it's going to be a great month for the two of you if you're involved with somebody, okay? Now, here we have the Six of Pentacles. This card signifies what they want. They want balance. 
This card speaks about giving, receiving, it's being generous, it's that equal balance between each other. Six of pentacles, six is our balance in the tarot deck. That's what that means. So this card here is what you want. And it speaks about gifts, support, generosity. So this is what you want. It's about giving and receiving with grace and receiving support from each other. That's what you want. Okay, now we have um, the moon. This is what they want. The way I look at this is there's a lot of illusion. There's um, mystery, deception, uncertainty. There's dreams. There's indecisions on their side. They want to be able to get past this. There's something here that they're not seeing. And there's illusions. Um, this card is about being confused, disappointed, disillusioned, emotions running high. Um, and they sense a need for decision. And they're feeling vulnerable. They want to get past this. They don't like feeling like this. this. And their tuition is trying to guide them. Okay? All right. What you need. There's the temperance card. You need balance, harmony, self-control, moderation. You want to take this slow and sure. Okay? Um, you want there to be generosity. You want to take this slowly. Half of her is in the water and half of her is outside the water. You want it to be tempered. You want it to be even, harmonious. You want it to be balanced. Okay? Now, for them, there's the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is what they need. And the Ace of Swords signifies decisions, insight, success, clarity, intellect. This is what they want to get past, the indecisions, the illusions, the uncertainty, the disappointment, and they need this clarity. This is about Beginnings, decisions, insight, success, clarity. Uh, this card reveals success and breakthrough. And with determination and clarity of purpose, they get what they want in work, creative projects, and relationships. This is what they want. They want more clarity, perhaps, from you. Okay? Now, this is how you see them. Very balanced. This is the justice card. And this card talks about justice, action, decision, clarity, perception. Um, you see them this way. Even though they may not be acting like that, but you see them this way. It's about past mistakes or arguments being laid to rest. It signifies improved finances, support, and good advice. All right, so it looks like there's going to be increased um, support, improved support between the two of you, okay? And how they see you. There's the King of Swords. And the King of Swords speaks about ambition, decision, order, justice. That's how you see them too, okay? When applied to the situation, the card stands for mind power, decisions, and justice. His arrival in a reading often means an intense work face is almost done. You two need to talk. Whoever it is that you are dealing with, you guys need to talk here because they need to get past, they need to, they need to feel more secure in this relationship. Yes, there's that love and there's that balance between the two of you together. But they're feeling like um, it's not there. You guys need to talk. Okay? That's what that looks like. That's what this reading is about. Overall energies looks like it's going to be a great month for the two of you. But you guys need to do some talking here. You both kind of want the same thing. All right? So let's just see what growing virtues romance angel says what are the messages for aries for the month of march 
Aries for the month of March. Aries for the month of March. Aries for the month of March. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Talk. Connect. All right? Go away together if it's even just for the night or the afternoon. Shut off your phones. Shut off your computer and spend some time together. Okay? There you go. That is the reading for all of you Aries out there. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helps you. Um, if you're interested in getting a private reading, email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours. I'll do an energy reading and a tarot spread. Okay? All right. I hope you have a great month of March. Take care. Bye-bye.